Hi, welcome to Billboard Spilling the Tea. Now we're going to talk about boys, 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 oh. muchachos, muchachos, muchachos. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Peru. <laughs> Anyhow, Hi, girlfriends. How has um, being in drag affected your dating life? It sucks. Really? Yeah, because Ooh. you can't find a guy who likes you for you, mm -hmm. or they don't want to date you because you're a drag queen. Oh, transphobic. And it's, it just sucks. Well, it's let really me tell I got a story about that. Mm -hmm. As the married lady up here on the panel. Oh, yes, someone uh, is married up here. <laughs> I am. Um, well, actually, like, in my first couple months as a drag race girl, right off of season seven, I was feeling my oats, as we all do on the road, and the one time in my life I, I tried to pretend to be a top, I met this boy, ah! I did, and as we're going at it, he turns around and he goes, I can't believe I'm getting fucked by Ginger Minj. <gasps> benefit. Oh! No, that was not a benefit. It was like, no, 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 no. It, it turned into an innie, mm -hmm. it tucked itself, and I was like, you have to go. Mm -hmm. It was the strangest thing to me, and in my head it was like, oh my God, you only wanted to hook up with me because I was on TV and this is who I am. So I didn't date after that at all. I didn't hook up, I didn't do anything. And when I met my husband, <laughs> he didn't know who I was. He had no clue who Ginger Minj was, oh. what Drag Race was. He's an ex-professional wrestler and a Work. chef. Awesome. Like He's Ooh. one of the, the, the manliest cuts. butch boys I've ever met. And he'll beat an egg and beat that pussy. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> that was the most. That was the most attractive thing about him. Yeah. Is that he no, didn't know who you were in drag? He mm -hmm. didn't care. Wow. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. That's cute. And so that's what finally like reinstated my faith in me. Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Hook, line, and sinker, honey. You don't know who I am in drag. Hook, line, exactly. and sinker." Exactly. Because it, it makes you feel a certain way, doesn't yeah. it? Right. I had a. I feel like I had a pretty good amount of success dating being a drag queen, I actually felt like my dating life got better. And I'm talking about like pre-drag race, only okay. because I became more confident as a person yeah. outside of doing drag, after doing drag. Yeah. And it, it, it changed so much for me that like my dating life became better because I felt comfortable approaching guys in the bars and being like, hi, what's your name? You know, and like, I used, like there was like this period of time where I was really feeling my zhuzh, girl. And I, was, <laughs> and I would go up to men to the bar and I wouldn't be trying to get the apps. I'd be like, hi, what's your name? And um, I met my now boyfriend of two years uh, in a bar one night. We crossed paths and we looked at each other and we're like, what's your name? And, and he's great. Yeah, he's well, my there, baby, I love him. There used great. to be stigmas about that. Oh, so you do drag because you're an ugly guy and things like that. A lot of people would do that. Yeah. But that, for me, that never, it never was a problem. Yeah. I was very comfortable with who I was and they like you both ways. All right, bring it on. I wasn't afraid of tranny chasers or things like that as they Ooh, would say. I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we oh, always man. called them clown fuckers. Oh, clown fuckers, that too. But, <laughs> Starfuckers is the one that was trying to get you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. they're out. Race chasers. Race I leave chasers. them all along. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, oh, sorry. Um, I actually went, I went into season 10 with a boyfriend. And uh, I started dating him because I met him at a meet and greet. Imagine this is all gonna tell its own story. <laughs> right. And um, and he, I thought he was, you know, all about me. But like our conversations would always be about like drag race and the girls and like things that might be coming up and this and that. And it was just like it it was so damaging to me because it made me feel like oh well the only reason that you want to be around me is to potentially first of all probably get more followers, mm. probably be able to talk to your friends and act like we're so close. And then actually made me feel uncomfortable in some situations. Like he didn't want to, he wanted to act like we were best friends instead of dating. Mm. Like it was awkward and it was weird. So like post drag race, dating got dating got real weird for me. Oh. Hooking up got better <laughs> it always after does. drag race because especially out of the country girl, because they just want to fuck you because you're famous. Okay. And I love y'all, but I take it. A big girl gets it where she can. You better, girl. I'm sorry, y'all. I know. Like, Wait, do you guys want to play a game really quick? Yes. Oh, no, I don't yeah. know. Let's play a game. No, Is it true Let's play Never Have I Ever. Ah! Oh, okay. Yes. Do you want to start with you, Ginger? Oh, we have oh. paddles. Yes. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, these were fancy Do I get a paddle? Yeah, okay. no, this was you. I was going to try to sell with a I thought we were going to play a game Do you called... get a paddle? Oh, oh you have work. your work. Oh, try there. chair. Ping pong? Six, oh, six girls, goodness. four cups. Here we go. Yeah, here six we go. Six girls, four cups. Oh, oh my God. Cheers. Well, well ours cheers. is over here. I'll, I'll start us off. Okay. okay, I'll do an easy one. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay. That's how we remain so popular. I'm easy. <laughs> um, I got a husband. Never have I ever worn women's clothes in public. Wait, what? 
I think you have to say something you've not done. That's how you play the game. No, if you, I, well, no. Starters. I, oh. okay. I still haven't worn women's clothes in public. <laughs> yeah, I was a right. sequin potato sack, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Go ahead. I know, you I'm can like, say whatever you want. Have okay, you ever okay. spent the night in jail in transvestism? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. What was you doing, slut bucket? No. I want to know the story before we move on. I was with Raven that night in oh, Ontario, no California. Oh. And I'm glad I got my DUI that time. I won't be out there driving around anymore. Whoa, simply the best. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, but I went to jail in full drag and I had me on a sister wig and they couldn't clock it. And so I stayed the whole night in jail. And then they kindly assist, um, well, a butch walked by and she said, what are you doing in here? Wait, bitch, what is a sister this wig? This is jail. Well, you know, a girl, a black girl's wig, sister's wig. What is a, what is a black girl wig? <laughs> they look nicer, more real. Monet exchange. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have on, could be a sister wig? This one is a vanity. Me and oh. Boots call them sister wigs. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, that's um, right. You know, a sister what do I wig have on? and a vanity wig. Melissa, sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> what does they have on? Well, she has very nice. A grandma sister. wig, girl. Yeah, what does she have on? sister wig. Cotton candy. She has pretty party girl. Yeah, girl, this is Party City, where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I don't know how you'd be watching some of those girls. The only good one is Dolly Parton's wigs in the restroom. Like, Her oh wigs my are God. Not good. You don't like what them? Is, uh, Wait, no. who wants oh. to go next? Oh, I guess it would be me. Okay. Yes. So, uh, for me, never have I ever worn under a size 15 in a women's shoe. So that's Wait, all I Under? Yeah, yeah. I wear a size under. 16 shoe. You wear a size you 16? Six oh, that's bitch. not a Lady shoe, that's shoe. a boat. Hello. That's a canoe, bitch. That's a canoe. <laughs> Well, okay. bitch, I'm happy to be a size nine, so I go to any store and get Okay, 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 okay. Yes, okay. we are the same size. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wear the alley girl. I was like, you gotta go to the show me this shit. I wanna, exactly, I wanna see the show. Never have I ever slept with a frenemy's man. Oh. So they ain't your friend. Oh, they ain't your enemy, but you don't like that bitch. So, Wait, okay. so if I, do I wouldn't it. do that. I'm, I'm yeah, a good girl. Christian woman. Oh, so you have? That's my number one strategy. Yeah. <laughs> really? The fucking enemy's me. It's called <laughs> Mutual Friends on Facebook, girl. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Oh, oh so you go friend through the mutual friend? You oh. One at a time. Girl, I did a four year project. Yes. Really? Next time I see Hustle. you, I will have slept with all your friends. Oh, yes. now. Aha, uh -huh, jokes on you. I have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope, I hope you like B.O. Yeah. <laughs> you got one, uh, Cracker? Just tell what? me you look sexy with this hair pushed back. Never have ever. Um, oh, OK. So, um, oh, never. OK. I don't know. I don't, I don't have anything that I've never done. Oh, yeah, you do one, Jasmine. Never have I ever sucked dick on a bus. On a bus? On a, on a bus? bus? There's a school bus car? Or any or, bus, okay. bitch. Yeah, oh. A bus. Oh. Right. Yeah. Or in a motor <laughs> vehicle, maybe? Any type of vehicle. Oh, I Does have. an Uber driver count? Bitch, I sure. know we have them. <laughs> well, I mean, if we're talking Uber drivers. I you know, actually so. have given an well, Uber driver head before. I, we read Dumb. about it on Facebook. Girl, sometimes you forget your purse. And you pay for your, no, bitch, you ain't paid for it because you had a credit work. card. Oh, you right. know what you paid for. for. Had, this was back in the day we talked about. You paid dick and get dropped off. I had the and worst. And leave a tip I and five stars with no free moves. Well, Ooh, so you still been home hungry. OK, well, since I gave a blowjob to an Uber driver and he was incompetent, we should wrap this up. I know. Like a gummy worm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hot tea. Thank she you all. Mm-hmm. Blowing in the breeze. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Sorry, excuse I me. Can't. Like one of those rats you get at the zoo. <laughs> oh. Thank you all for tuning in with us lovely ladies. <laughs> wigs, wigs, wigs. Jasmine, you paint so soft. Oh, I know. But She's I've seen you painted back, that too. Nude, that nude lip You're and, and the eye glitter. <laughs> You're so warm, girl. He's good okay. fish. Girl, I was walking out of my house, honey. Yeah, hello, somebody. <laughs> she said, I woke up like this. And I got so boys and men on my street, bitch. They need to see hip-hop love fish. Yeah. Oh, bitch.